Simultaneous shifts in supply and demand. Let's say that there is a demand increase and a supply increase. As demand increases, notice the price goes up and the quantity goes up. And at the same time, if supply increases, watch what happens to quantity. As supply increases, watch from this point here and watch what happens to quantity. Quantity definitely increases as demand increases and supply increases. Demand increases, supply increases. Quantity definitely goes up. But notice that the price in this situation has gone up, but if supply kept on increasing, it would remain the same or it would go down. So what we say in this situation is that price is indeterminate. You can't determine what happens to price. Let's look and see if demand increases and supply decreases. If demand increases, notice that price goes up and quantity goes up. But as supply decreases, watch what happens to the price. The price continues to go up. You can see that price continues to go up, but let's see what happens to quantity. Notice that the quantity went up in this situation, but if supply kept on shifting, it would remain the same. If supply kept on shifting, it would go down. So we would say quantity is indeterminate. Demand decrease, supply increase. As demand decreases, notice that price and quantity go down. As supply increases, watch what happens to price. Price continues to go down. But do you notice that the quantity is indeterminate? It could either go down, it could either stay the same, or the quantity could go up. So quantity is indeterminate. Demand decrease and supply decrease. As demand decreases, notice price and quantity go down. As supply decreases, watch what happens to quantity. Quantity keeps going down. Did you notice quantity keeps going down? But let's see what happens to price. Notice that price is below the equilibrium. It gets to the equilibrium or it's above the equilibrium. So we say in this situation that price is indeterminate.